Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking creativity into cash flow. So what do I mean by that? Well, as an entrepreneur, you might be coming up with so many ideas, but my question to you is, how many ideas are you actually capturing? You know, do you let things slip? Do you, you know, are you on the treadmill? Are you traveling and you think, right, I've got to do that. You know, oh my God, I want to do this idea. And, and you don't note it down and you don't take that idea and you don't put it into action. Well, that's such a shame because you know, you're letting ideas that could be the next big thing, or you know, they could just be the next business model that you build on. So what I wanna share with you today is the importance of turning your creativity into cash flow, and this will tie very nicely into my book that I'm releasing very soon, hopefully next month. It'll be on Amazon, keep checking, and that is self-education into uh, which equals success and income. And it really does, and what I wanna share with you today, I'm gonna to go through some points note them down and hopefully you take some value. Uh, before you do, do leave a comment saying subscribe, let me know that you're following me and I'll get back to you and hit that like uh, button and do share this because I hope it will help many people. So, peak performance times, uh, taking notes, services, products, branding and marketing, this will all tie in and we're gonna go through this. So, the ability as an entrepreneur to turn an idea into a product, a service and then start cash flowing take some guts, it takes commitment, discipline, and, and persistence in order to achieve that. So, where do you need to start? We well, need to identify, and this is one of the biggest key parts for me, is your peak performance area. So when is your brain most active? You know, when are you in the height of, you know, coming up with the ideas and you're excited and you want to put it into action? Where is that point during your day? So for me, it's first thing in the morning. I wake up, get my pre-workout shake, get the amino acids, head down the gym, on the treadmill, get the heart rate pumping. And then I'm thinking of all ideas. You know, I'm listening to Audible. If, I, if, if I'm too creative, I'll stop my Audible and I'll start taking notes on my phone. Open it up, start taking notes. Because then what I do is when I go home, I'm gonna note all those down, look at them, review them, take 10 minutes, and decide what I can put into action over the next few weeks. So that's the key. Start with your peak performance. When are you at your best? Moving on to that is to understand what product and service you can offer. So in order to turn creativity and an idea into cash flow, you need to offer either a service, a product, you need to find an area that is fat and bloated that you can serve people. So it's very good having ideas, but they will need to sell. That's, that's basically the goal in order to cash flow. Like it's great having an idea, but how's it gonna make money? So those are what you need to go through. Those are the main steps. So. Is it sustainable is the next point. So you've got the idea, you are looking to put it into place, you know, it's a product, it's a service, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna offer value to someone. Is it sustainable or is this an overnight thing? If it's a one trick pony, it's a service for one day and that's it, it's not really sustainable, there's no growth. So once you've found that there's growth, there's an opportunity, dedicate yourself now. The next step is pulling the trigger because so many people procrastinate, they think of an idea. I've had so many conversations and when I do my one-to-ones where people come up with ideas, they're gonna do it, and then I speak to them two, three weeks later and they've not done it. And it's such a shame because they have so much potential. So pulling the trigger is key. And you know, we're gonna put that in bold writing here, pulling the trigger. So just to give a bit of uh, an insight really, if you're thinking, yeah, Aaron, that's great, I wanna do that, but you know, it's gonna cost me money and I haven't got money. You know, I'm a graduate student or you know, I haven't got a lot of money behind me. There are so many low entry opportunities. It doesn't have to cost money. And you know, what I've noted here is that, you know, starting a website, you can do Wix for free. Uh, social media, you can earn money from. You know, it just takes dedication. Understanding the algorithm, understanding how it works, branding, partnerships, collaboration, starting a YouTube like this. That can lead to a business, that can lead to a service, a product, and so forth, and the compound effects will, will always, compounding will always happen as long as you're disciplined, determined, and consistent. That's like the key. Again, we'll put that up here, the consistent. I'm gonna pop it up somewhere on the screen. Consistency. So, what different ways could you make money? Well, I'm just gonna suggest a few to you. You know, this is marketing services. Selling niche knowledge. Do you know something that could help someone else's business? Do you know something that you think, well, you know, I've specialized in this for 10, 10 years and more. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna make money. Well, someone might need to know that. You know, I looked on YouTube once to how, how to change a fob key on a certain car, and it was like a 12-year-old show a minute. It had like 30K views. I learned from a 12-year-old because he knew how to do it. Um, consultancy services, social media opportunities, brand partnerships, writing a book. You know, Amazon allows you to write a book for free and then you can cash flow from it. So my question is, do you know information 
that could help someone else and you can cash flow from it. Digital products to sell is another great one. There's so many opportunities. Alibaba, you know, um, drop shipping, you know, being able to buy from a supplier, it not actually touching you and so forth. Those are really low entry models. So the key to ensuring you cash flow from your ideas and creativity is that your ability to understand your peak performance times, noting them down, never letting ideas disappear into the abyss, just letting them go, putting them together, short business plan, how does it serve your customers, and then final part is pulling the trigger and going for it. That is the key here that I want you to take away. Um, I hope this has helped. Please feel free to reach out to me either on Instagram or head over to my website, which is www.aaronknightley.co.uk, where you could book a one-to-one -one and we can discuss this further. Um, my book is soon to be released, which is Self-Education Equals Success and Income. And it will basically shed light that look, you do not need to be an academic. You do not need to have a great formal education because look, I, I did not come from uh, you know a, a privileged background. I did not come from wealth or anything like that, and I had no grades. I had nothing like that. I came from nothing, and I've been able to cash flow and start businesses and do do things on my own just through I have a very strong willpower, and I'm no different to every single one of you watching. So thanks for watching. Please hit like, subscribe, share, and until the next video, I will speak to all of you very soon.